Now let's cover how to set up the Multimatic 255 for DC Lift Arc TIG. Please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips, and remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. In order to DC TIG weld with the Multimatic 255, you'll need the TIG Accessory Kit. This package includes a Weldcraft A150 torch, a foot control, a TIG Accessory Kit, 10-pin to 14-pin TIG remote adapter, and a regulator and gas hose. Before connecting your TIG torch, the machine should be powered off. Make sure the drive power lead is disconnected from either of the output studs. Next, install the TIG torch in the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Then insert the work lead in the positive receptacle. The machine is now set to DCEN or electrode negative polarity. Now insert the gas fitting into the gas connection on the front of the machine. Tighten with a wrench. Open the door. If you are using a foot pedal included with the TIG kit, connect the 14-pin portion of the 10 to 14-pin TIG adapter to the foot pedal, then into the 10-pin receptacle below the wire drive assembly. Close and secure the door. Next, set up the Multimatic 255 with a bottle of 100% argon shielding gas. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the TIG gas solenoid located on the back panel of the Multimatic 255. Tighten with a wrench. Power up your machine. Next, select TIG. Finally, if you are in the Auto Set Elite feature, when using a remote foot pedal or fingertip control, Enable the remote. Disable if no remote is being used. Then select the tungsten diameter and material thickness. Or if you are using manual mode, press the setup button to enable or disable the remote control. As a guide, use the parameter chart inside the side door. Setting up the Multimatic 255 for DC Lift Arc TIG is as easy as that.